Hello, Simon from Serif here. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use DrawPlus to create better, more attractive text. Whether you're designing a poster, business card, logo, any document for that matter, typography is vitally important for attracting attention and communicating ideas and information. In this, part one, I'm going to show you how to use some of DrawPlus's key tools for designing perfect text. In part two, I'll introduce you to some advanced techniques that will elevate your designs to another level still. Time to get started. The brief for the opening section of this video is to create some text for a clearance sale. I'm going to lay down some text on the page simply by selecting the artistic text tool, dragging out the required text size and typing away. For something that is supposed to grab attention, this text looks pretty plain and boring, so let's try jazzing it up a bit. I'm going to start by changing the colour of the text and proceeding to add shadow with the shadow tool. To determine the path of the shadow, I'm simply dragging out this middle node in the direction I require. Just with a bit of shadow, you can see already that the text is much more interesting. The shadow has lifted the text off the page. Now let's try adding a reflection. I'm hitting undo and I'm simply going to paste a copy of the lettering on top of itself. I'm going to flip the copy by navigating the mouse to the top menu and choosing flip, followed by flip vertical. What I can do now is select the flipped version and line it up beneath the original. To make the reflection more authentic, I'm reducing the opacity and, with the transparency tool, dragging out a straight line to create a fade. Time to move on and show you filter effects. Filter effects are perhaps the easiest and quickest way to create great looking text. To apply an effect, simply select the type, right click with the mouse button and choose filter effects from the menu displayed. Upon doing so, the filter effects dialog is presented, and it's from here that you can choose to apply a variety of effects. I'm choosing to apply a drop shadow and an outline. I'll change the colour of the outline to white. You can choose to experiment with lots of other effects like embossing, but in this instance I'm pretty happy to keep the design clean and simple. Click OK to apply the changes you've made. An even quicker way to apply filter effects is to experiment with DrawPlus's graphic styles. From the Styles tab, choose Text Effects and browse the different styles available. This sticker effect is a good one to choose. If you want to add even more impact to your designs, try transforming existing text into 3D. DrawPlus makes this process very easy. I'm starting back at the beginning with the basic formatting properties and with the text selected, proceeding to select the Instant 3D button from the drawing toolbar. Automatically, the text is converted into 3D. Tweak the look by adjusting settings like bevel and lathe which customises depth. Time to switch samples and show you yet another effect to try. Presently, the text in this surf shop logo is missing a fill. In some instances, you might find that a plain colour fill doesn't quite cut it. In such circumstances, try DrawPlus's a swatches tab. From here, you can choose a variety of gradient fills like these ones here, as well as realistic bitmap fills such as bricks and tiles, metals and water. If you can't find a fill that's quite right, you might want to consider importing your own or, indeed, following this next tip, to clip an image. For this last demonstration of part one, I'm going to show you how you can create text based upon a photograph. 
In this example, I'm quickly going to type some text over the beach image and change the font so it's more befitting. This rounded font is a good one. I'll move the text so it's more closely aligned to the centre of the image. And now here's the clever part. Select the pointer tool and hold the shift key to select both the image and the text. Now, navigate down to the Arrange tab and select Crop to Top Object. Dropbox has created a clipping mask so that only the area of the photo beneath the text is visible. I'm not overly happy with the area of the photo that is visible, so I'm going to change the section of the photo on view by choosing the Select Cropped Object icon. I can now move the image so that more of the sea is displayed. The result looks quite good. I hope you agree. So this brings part one of my video series about creating attention-grabbing text to an end. I hope you found it useful. In part two, I'll be looking at some more advanced effects like creating multiple outlines and using the envelope and node tools to create text warping effects. Thanks for watching. Until next time.